Hi guys, it's Promise Sebastian here again with another awesome Blender tutorial. So today we are going to be learning about render passes and then the compositor because you'll be needing it to understand the render passes and you need to learn how to use it as well as a bonus. Okay, now the output you render once you render an image in Blender is divided into layers, more like a layer. So it's called passes. So now once you render it out, Blender joins all the whole passes and get, then gives you out the gives you the output but then it's very interesting to know that you can render those passes differently and then use the compositor to kind of edit them and then you can actually use it on other external software like photoshop and then as your creativity leads you and as well for animation so now i'm sure you must have seen some renders like this they are very very interesting and then something like this as well more interesting than just using the solid view mode here as your solid view render okay so now to understand these passes now i'm going to click on this arrow pointing down now so if i click on this arrow pointing down you can see where it's written render pass and then is in combined combined means that it's combining all the whole passes and then there are a lot of these passes let me click on the combiner so you see the whole passes so there are all these are passes you have a mission pass background ambient inclusion shadow catcher all of them are really really interesting but then the ones we are going to be using and the ones we are going to be trying out are these ones here in the general here so let me click on the arrow drop down again on the combine now so now i'm going to switch on the ambient inclusion and then you're going to see what i have now so it's actually loading this is cycles i'm using so now it's going to remove the color now and then give me the shadows which are between the legs are uh, where the close uh close faces meet that is where you're going to be seeing the shadow so it's very very interesting to have this kind of look as your solid preview mode and then you can as well render only the color so let's head back to the past now and then over to ambient occlusion now so i'm going to change from this combined i'm going to change from ambient occlusion to diffuse color now so you can see what i have now i just have only the color of this image so these passes are very very interesting so now this is just the render view that i'm exploring all these parts this is also how to know what you're actually going to get if you render out that particular part so this is the color diffuse light diffuse uh, render part so if you render this light diffuse now this is what you're gonna get so you can check as many of them now then see what they look like because we are going to be rendering some of them now so let's head back to the combined now now for you to render if i let me say i move over to the ambient occlusion now render pass here in my render view mode now and then if i try to render this now on the render mode now so if i try to go to render now render now and then render image it's actually rendering the image what it's going to give me is the colored one that is also what it's going to give me that's the combined version it's not going to render out this ambient occlusion for me so how do you do it what if you want the ambient occlusion you don't want the colored version what if it's the ambient inclusion you want to use how are you going to do it okay so this is it. rendering that's why it's actually taking time so you can see it here is the colored one that is actually rendering for me as well but this is not what i need i need the ambient inclusion how do you do it okay so it's quite easy let me just cancel this now because that's not what we want to render now so it has cancelled now so to do that now we have to go over to you can see by my right here you can see another menu beneath this output menu here you can see the view layer menu here so if i click on this view layer now you will see view layer and then you're going to see passes now so beneath these passes you have data now and then you have combined so you have combined now so we are not going to be using this data part where, where we are much interested in is in this light part now so you can see in the light part now you have direct you have indirect you have color that's diffuse on the diffuse section and then you have on the glossy section you have direct indirect and color so all this now anyone you check on these options now or this menu what it's going to do is if you're rendering you are also going to see your normal um colored image rendered but then it's going to add it for you if you open the compositor tab that is why i said we we need to learn about the compositor as well because we'll be using it so now let me check that of direct and then let me check that of ambient inclusion as well that i needed then i'm not going to check more because the more of these things you check the more longer it's going to take for it to render because it's rendering them as well and then give you the option in the compositor tab so now i'm going to click render now so it renders the two that's the direct i feels like direct and then the ambient occlusion as well so now let's click on render image so i'll click on render now then render image so guys it's actually done rendering and this is our final output now so now let me head over to the compositor tab so i'm going to minimize this rendered window now so i will move over to the compositing workspace now so it's actually loaded so now in the compositor 
or the compositing works with anyone you want to call it okay so now you are not going to be seeing anything here unless you check this use notes here so once you check the use note you're not going to be seeing a note there so your own might probably be unchecked or probably if you if you mistakenly checked it you're gonna see the note but then if you've not just check the use note now so we'll have the note so these are the two notes you're going to be having and then you're not going to be having you're not going to be seeing this image here in the background now for you to see it you have to add an additional node which is the viewer node now so to do that we'll just click shift a now and then head over to ch uh, search and then type in viewer so now i will click on this viewer node so i have the viewer node there so what i can do is just take drag from this image now drag the socket and then plug it on this one now so now i have the image now so to zoom out the image what i just need to click is v v and v and v and v2 i'm okay so if i want to zoom in so what i need to do is alt v to zoom in and then v to zoom out so if i want to move the image i can then hold alt now and then with the middle mouse button and then move the image to anywhere i want okay so now what i was telling you guys about what we enable so assuming we didn't check this from our view layer now they, assuming we didn't check that of diffuse now and then this ambient inclusion now so we are not going to be seeing this diffuse direct here this plug diffuse direct plug here, and then ambient inclusion a oh that's what it means plug here so we are not going to be seeing this so did you check it now it actually rendered it and now watch now if i plug this ambient inclusion now take this now and then plug it on the image now so now you're not going to see the colored image again now what you're going to be seeing is the ambient inclusion so for me to see this on my render outputs now i'm not going to plug it on the view i have to plug it on the composite node this is where you plug in and then you see the output on your rendered image now so now we'll take the ambient inclusion now and then plug it on the image of this composite now so let's take this ambient inclusion now on the image now so now if we head over to the render tab now this what we just rendered look at what you are going to be seeing the ambient inclusion so now you can possibly save this now and then save us save it to any folder you want and then use it for anything you want to do so that's just how to do it you can add as much nodes and then play around with it you can use some mixed node and do some interesting stuff so if you want to do that or if you want to see that of this um, uh, diffuse lightning you can just plug the node of the diffuse and plug it on the image as well on the composite as well so you're not going to be seeing it you also have to take it and plug on this view one node so you see what it looks like so this is what it looks like now if i head back to the uh, blender rendered article so this is what i have there let me cancel this i now have the diffuse version so i can still save this now and then have it as well so you can render as much of this now and save them differently and you can use it creatively like i said or use it anyhow as your creativity leads you is really really awesome okay so thanks for watching this awesome tutorial so do let me know in the comment section if this tutorial helped you and then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the uh, bell notification button so you get notified once i drop an awesome video okay thanks for watching see you on my next video